Lately, local news outlets and the political establishment have been fawning over Andre Gray, a blazing American who claims to be one of the world's top inventors. Most recently, he was given the keys to the city by Mayor Bernard Wagner, who gushed about Gray. He's a national treasure, um, recognized worldwide. Um, Washington Mail, London Defender, um, most 100 most influential person, person of the year. And he's a born and bred Belizean, right? Belizean American, no American, Belizean, Belizean American. And, and he has been responsible. His work, his innovation, his, 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 his technology driven um, activities is what got this. Uh, the telephone that you are using, this technology that we are using, he's responsible for it. We have to get him in our schools. We have to utilize right, that resource. Right? That's a valuable resource. If you, like the mayor, believe what you read from dubious fake news sites we've never heard of, Gray is accredited for many inventions, including ringtones and ringbacks, the first digital DJ software, the electronic ticket, the electronic press kit, which is said to be the birth of social media, and even the cyberpunk genre. He's also said to have uploaded the first song ever to the internet, entitled Internet Kill the Video Star, and he has even supposedly designed the voicemail logo and inspired the design for the Bitcoin logo. He was also named last year's Washington Mail's Person of the Year, for the second year in a row, and the London Defender's most influential person in the world. In the world! On that same list, Elon Musk is number 14, and Mark Zuckerberg is number 26. But a closer look at these websites showed that they're not genuine media. Every story written on the Washington Mail was done so by the editorial board, which means that there are either submissions from the public that are not vetted, or sponsored posts, basically pay to play. A quick Google search of the London Defender doesn't even bring up the front page of the so-called news site, which, when you click through the links, you'll see it's just a front for press releases. The other websites that feature him, the New York Today, the Los Angeles Tribune, the Daily Silicon, are also all unaccredited sites which have no credence as news outlets. And in an interview with the Amandala newspaper, Gray tells a reporter that he is the first black person to attend the Juilliard School. But another Google search shows that the title actually belongs to Anne Brown in 1932, 34 years before Gray was even born. And it's these fraudulent websites and misrepresentations of the truth that had our team at 7 News suspicious of Gray's alleged achievements. That led us to the gates of the zinc fence, where we waited for Gray as he exited the morning stew set. Here's how that exchange went. Mr. Gray, oh. hi, good morning. We're from the local media here in the yes. Leeds. We're hoping to get an interview with you. Yes, can I, can, can you guys give me a business card so I can arrange for later? I'm late. Sir, now. sir. So we but, just want to know ah. if everything, because a lot of things that you are saying do not check out. You're making a lot of claims that don't check out. Um, so we want proof for everything that you're claiming. Every, okay, so I Hannes have. Gutenberg Award wasn't given to you in 2002. That was someone else. <laughs> On that note, I have to go. One thing I do not do is to stoop to the level of nonsense and have people drag me down. So how but, have your, have your achievements, so-called achievements over exaggerated? Uh, and all these big um, stations, if you're nice. such a huge inventor. No Al Jazeera, no CNN, no ABC, no, ABC, ABC sir. No, nothing. What do you have to say, sir? Sir, sir is it not a rule, sir? Are you a fraud? And just like that, this reported godfather of the internet drove off in a taxi cab. So who really is Andre Gray? Is he indeed a great inventor who is responsible for the birth of social media, downloadable apps, and an entire genre of science fiction? Or is he just the inventor of a very elaborate ruse? Courtney Menzies, 7 News.